so you see we've got the fan removed for the, the mini again we had to bother getting the bonnet opened on it uh, jammed on the driver's side so I had managed to get it underneath and uh, just managed to get the lever into it and, and open it so I'm not sure what's happened to it all the cables are attached they're attached there so and oh shit aye so it's obviously when that latches that goes back aye so I need to see what's happened to it why it's not working aye, I'm not sure if somebody's put that on it to stop it coming off but aye so we'll probably need to do that Monday when we've got an assistant again uh, but we can get this fan uh, wired up. Um, well, we're going to just do some further testing on it, and see what's going on. But uh, it's pretty rotten, so yeah. And it was working. We could activate it on the the high speed, uh, but the low speed we couldn't get it to run. It was working before. I went back and checked the video, and it was all working. Um, so I, it's just failed. It's 2002 car. So here we are. So. Right, we'll see if we can uh, get this opened up now uh, and have a wee look. We're going to play a bit. I'm, I've not found any continuity between the, the, the resistor there, so if we kind of put the. if we can set this. Damn it. We'll see. So if we set that there, obviously you'll hear it. Continuity across the two of them, and there's nothing, so definitely not getting any power for it. So, but we will check the wires, and you can hear the meters working. So, we shall remove this case and just do a little further checking on it um, and then we've got a new one there that we can wire in we will check the wires down to the fan as well and make sure they're good uh, before we do anything so right, we will we'll get a little there's a little tool kit that we're using for getting the bonnet open this, uh, you can see we've done all the the rear P's and D's cables uh, one cable, one brake pipe one brake hose, rear pads and dust there uh, I showed my dad this as well and, and my dad's uh, 56 and he's exact words with me I've seen a lot of things but I've never seen that um, and that was that brake flexi hose I don't actually know what's in there so I've, I've never seen anybody doing anything like that before in my life so and they had the cheek to put a new handbrake cable on it but yet they hadn't even put a brake pad in the caliper so the piston uh, they obviously couldn't get the piston to wind back and rather than phone the customer up and say, look, this is going to need a caliper, no, it's not just a cable, they just left one of the brake pads out and did that. So it wasn't working on that, well, no chance it was working because there was no hydraulic fluid connected to that old caliper there. So, aye, so it's... <laughs> I don't like the comment, but I don't know what they took off the guy. Uh, Money-wise, I really don't. Uh, I don't like getting involved in things like that, but certainly seems like the customer uh, has been ripped off in the past so uh, we just try and uh, try and best to be as transparent as we can um, you know that's why we film everything you know everything that we say we've put onto the cars we've put onto the cars um, you know and we don't try and make stuff up you know we don't say we've fitted brake pads and we've only fitted one <laughs> so uh, it's some crazy stuff out there so you really need to watch who's fixing your cars so here we go, we part made in China, we part for the mini, let's see what it is, a bit of unboxing. <gasps> look at that, some wires and your low speed fan resistor. So, we'll get that wired in and see, so that turned up yesterday, that was good, it was good. From China, eh? that one seems to come from China, you'd think they had an abundance of people and an abundance of resources or something, I don't know what's going on there. Right, and there was a problem there. So those two up to there and you can see all the blue out. So rot enough, so I need to try and figure it. There's obviously a wee relay there as well, I need to check that. Uh, and obviously that so obviously went Yeah, it must have been like that to that. So it's a good job, we'll just do a wee video there. And always gives us a wee reference point to go back to. So that we really 
on there like so. They really must be working because we're putting the high speed fan on through the computer so. So let's go and get our chain apart. So. It's pretty similar like. Oh, let's come out the bubble wrap. There we go. So I right, that me plate there, actually. So that's pretty handy, isn't it? And you can see. Ah, that's pretty good, man. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that, to be honest. Some of the ones I had seen online didn't look anything like it. Uh, so, right. Okay, doke. Right, so. Right, so we'll clean all that up and come back. Mini 20 year old mini. God damn. So there you go, they have as well. I've not touched that bit. You can see how far the rocks went up it. If the camera will focus. Focus. So the sheathing's all bust open with the, the rock there. to play with, I don't know. I wonder if we can repin this. Right, we'll take this off and see what we can do, because we've got quite a good amount of wire there. If we can just repin. Not bad, you don't. You don't. Sorry, the, the battery, I pressed the wrong button, I might press the button on the hotel. Uh, the battery voltage is a bit low, it's down at 9.6, so we need to charge it on it. Um, but we'll get all that refitted now um, and take it for the up. So, happy days on that. So, we've got the fan all back in. We can look at the bonnet to see what happened, because it was always working. This wee bit seems to be broken off, so we'll need to do something with that. The tab's obviously broken on it. So, that's just senses that the bonnet's closed. So we'll need to fix that. The actual latch itself, what happens is, is you pull that cable and that pulls that forward and allows that to release. It's a dual cable, dual latches, I think the later ones, I've got one on there. So we need to plug the wire in for that now. Same again, that is fighting against there and that allows that to come forward. That's not very tight in there, the other one was very, very tight. Uh, so I'll put something in that stop that coming out but that's not the issue with it it's this cable here so uh, it's actually seized so I'm gonna just need to get a new one for I think because it looks pretty rotten in there so that goes in there again that's clipped into there so it's not moving freely it was working this I know I had issues when it first came in but yeah it's been here a long time we've been fighting it so we managed to get a, a fan resistor for it um, we've wired that in, um, and you've all seen on the video, uh, it's now working on both speeds. Seen it before, what would happen was we tried to activate it, and it was only working on the, the first stage. I'm surprised it was actually working on that, because when I took the resistor out, um, I think probably one wire's just been making contact, because it was just all rotting off. So they weren't even connecting, you can see all the blue, the blue rot on the wires. So, to be honest, it's not a great design, because this bit here is all sealed right, you need to kind of, uh, it did break a bit of the plastic a wee bit coming off, there is a relay in there as well that operates that, uh, and there's one under the bonnet as well, but this bit here is open to the elements, so you can see where the two bolts go, one goes there and one goes probably about there to be honest with you, um, and that's got the covers then over the top of it, um, so there is a wee bit of it still exposed, so I mean it is in there but there is a wee bit still exposed, so it's not too bad. So, like I said, the aircon condenser, there's no gas in it. Um, I'm gonna leave that off. 
but probably the best if you wanted the air conditioning working on it just to have the the full thing we can be commissioned to be honest with you the car's probably going to want a blower motor as well uh it's, it seems to work and then stop working so um i don't know if you'd better get it out without uh taking the well certainly the pedal box out at least on the driver's side everything's really tight on these uh, everything is really tight um but i uh, so we need to actually get some petrol in the wee car as well because it's really really low in fuel um, but I've already confirmed that the fan is now working, so hopefully when it comes up to temp, it just kicks on and off, on and off all the time, um, and it doesn't give us any issues, so the wee calves getting a fair old restoration, this one I tell you, so we'll see if we can get that bonnet cable um, for it, um, and then we'll take it through there. We're having real bother, uh, one of our, our, our main suppliers, uh, one of the big dealers, the big dealer network, we had their, uh, a big cyber hack, uh, for what I can gather, um, and then they seem to have fixed it, turned all their systems back on and it's happened again so I uh, have no real bother getting through the parts uh, at the minute so that's probably where that's going to want to come from but I will, I will uh, ask about so 